Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Python. And in today's lesson, we'll be covering variables. If you haven't seen the previous three lessons, I recommend that you guys check that out before you watch this one. Uh, so variables are super important for any programming language, uh, and that includes Python. And they're really useful, and they essentially hold information for you that you can refer back to. And if you hold, if you use that same set of calculations, same formula, same name, over and over again, your calculation, it's one can be really easier to remember the variable because you can name it whatever you want, as opposed to like a bunch of functions, for example. Uh, and as well, you can hold values, which can then be used. Then, if you were to change it in the variable, they can it'll change throughout. Uh, the rest of your program so it's really useful uh, but i'm sure you already know that so let's go ahead and get started so the variables are case sensitive so what i mean by that if for example if i put user and i put king and i try to refer to it and i type in user it's not going to work but if i type in user it, it will work so it is case sensitive so for example i can't put se there you go that won't work so it is case sensitive so it's important to remember that so uh, it, so you can hold strings, for example, you can put age, for example, I'm going to put 27 and then if, for the age, you can also then multiply by 0 0.5, for example, you do a bunch of cool stuff uh, with it. You can even add to it, all this stuff. Obviously, they have to be uh, the same type in order to, for actually that to happen. But the interesting part as well is that, if, for example, if your variables contain string, like user does, then you can do some cool stuff. For example, here you can refer to certain letters. So for example, here, if I want to refer to the first letter, I type in zero because uh, indexes in programming language start, start at zero. If I want to refer to the second letter, it would start go with one, et cetera, et cetera. If I want to refer to a range of, uh, of letters, then here I can go, for example, the first you put a colon and then you put a number you can either put leave it blank and if you leave it blank that means start at the very beginning and then the second half refers to when will you end so for example if i want to uh, start with the second character and go to the fourth this will return the third and, and fourth uh, character so really handy really useful to know and remember that it's less than so it's always when it says here, what it really means, so for example, here the string is king, so it really goes one, two, three, four. But when you do this index, so I'm just going to go number one, number two, it actually goes find me all the ones are less than, less than or equal to, so let's call this the, the return, and then less than, less than the second one. So even though the fourth character is the very last one it actually won't include that one because it's less than so that's important that's going to be important for indexes uh important for ranges so really important concept to know it sometimes can throw you off if you're not aware of that uh so for example you do a lot of cool stuff so here for example if i can go go like this then we'll return it like that you can also go for example uh two that way that's really handy uh, that's all pretty straightforward, pretty handy, good to know, good to parse out strings. You can also, for example, if I just want the last two characters, I can just go negative two, bracket here, and it'll give me the last two. If I want everything but the last two, I can just colon minus two. So really handy, really useful. Variables are a really great way. And as well, you can, for example, I can type in user ID can be equal to user plus, um, let's say, string. I'm cheating a little bit, showing you something that I haven't shown before. Age. And now if I type in user ID, there you go. So you can easily combine different strings together, create new variables. Super useful. And you'll see once we go through the rest of the lessons, especially when you when you get to web scraping and applying these these programming knowledges, uh, that that you'll see how useful variables are. So that's all. If there's anything else that in particular you want me to cover, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I look forward to speaking to you next time.
Thank you.